That's how they do it, baby girl. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing so well. It's a Saturday morning and I just had breakfast, cleaned their house, and I also went ahead to, you know, um, redo my hair. Not like redo, like just trying to make it look presentable. So right now, I want to go ahead and have my bath because I have to leave this house by 12 midday. Um, it's my girl's bed, not birthday. It is my girl's traditional wedding today, Gina. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Because first of all, I am one of the Ashibi girls, okay? And my dress is on my bed right now. I'm going to show you guys my outfit or what we're going to look like this evening. I'm already going ahead to pack my makeup because I don't know if we're going to have like a makeup artist to do our makeup. But just in case, I have my makeup bag there. My umbrella for rain, just in case it rains. Um, our sandals, because we're going to be in low heels, like flats. So my girls and I were meeting up at, uh, what was that place called again? Carry from my two year in Bonamusadi, where we're going to take a taxi down to Bona Berry, okay? The traditional rice starts at 1, no, 2 p.m., but we're expected to be there at 1, okay? So that is the plan for today. I'm going to take you guys along with me throughout today. The white wedding is in a week time. So please like the video, subscribe, and let's do this. <music> I just left the house. I am meeting up with the other girls at Brown Point. So we moved to Bonaberry. It is 12.47 right now. And yeah, so let's go. <laughs> Can I learn more? 
so far while we were in the room taking pictures and just having fun with the bride making her relax the traditional bride price was already taking place in the sitting room so according to the babanki or small babanki tradition the bride and her ashibi girls are not allowed to be seen up until the groom comes and look for her in her room so if her family accepts the bride price from the groom the groom and his family will now kill a chicken go to the kitchen cook it and bring it over to where she is and the groom will have to feed her so let's watch so fam another traditional right which was uh, for the groom's family to have direct access to the bride, they had to pay some entry fee, okay? And this was our responsibility as the the families of the bride and the Ashebi girls. So we had to take some tips and we had to make sure that these people were actually here for the bride and they had to convince us and that is why they mentioned her native name and we're like oh my god you guys are really here for this so we let them see the bride and yeah what mean you gonna mean say that God is on blessings? Mm. Mm. So, so now peace, the peace of God, the blessings of God, the peace of God. So now, now he way it will rain for this house. Amen. Beautiful house where they from front. So, what mean of God it rain for them from some serious way? Amen. Now show me how that work for the worker. If it's small, you see how it is, you see the beef. You see the beef. Two months time. Mm, if too. it don't reduce, mm. let me say, that palapa, you know, you can eat your friend. So, how so, long going to eat from a bakuto? Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it. That's it, baby girl. When you put them, I put them. Oh, you're my husband. So fam, if I didn't mention earlier, the bride is from the Northwest region and the husband is from the Southwest region and this outfit represents the culture from the Northwest region. So at some point they will have to change their outfit to represent the groom's culture which is Bayangi, okay? So yeah, at this point if you haven't subscribed and you're enjoying the video, please like, give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and yeah, just share with your friends and keep enjoying the video. Rate down below how I dance, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys. Like I mentioned earlier, here is our groom changed into his outfit representing the Bayangi culture or the Southwest culture. And here is our beautiful bride making her way in, looking so beautiful, representing her husband's culture as well. Oh my god, see, culture is beautiful. Cameroon is beautiful, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so fam thank you so much if you watched to this point as you can see my girl is looking so beautiful in her outfit and yeah this brings me to the end of today's vlog guys if you end up enjoying it please like and subscribe and comment down below wish them a happy marriage in the comment section i will really love appreciate it yeah so see you in the next one bye
time I wanna say